something like a little bit of winter to turn a relatively easy uh, one hour job to a difficult all day affair. Good morning everybody. It is Monday, October 30th and kind of miserable outside. We have snow, we have wind. It's only like minus five or minus seven, but I'm not used to it yet. So I'm, I'm in like my minus 20 to 25 year. Something interesting happened over the weekend. Actually, yesterday sometime in the middle of the afternoon, I hit a thousand subscribers, which is pretty cool. So thanks for that. Um, oh, got a text from dad. Okay, we're just ordering parts for the new air drill already. Not parts like something's wrong, parts like upgrades. We're still six months away from using it, we're upgrading it already. Uh, we're putting on something we should have had on the old drill. Uh, we probably should have put it on a couple years ago. It's a real slick feature, but you'll have to wait to see on that. We got done harvest about 30 days ago. And it's actually closer to about 40 to 45 days because we had a bit of a break between the last of my regular canola and my IP canola, about eight or 10 days. And that number is pretty important in my mind on canola. If For us, if canola is gonna get warm, this is like one of the key times, is like within the first 30 days to six weeks of being in a bin. So I'm out here beside the highway with the Frankenstein canola that just refuses to die. Like there's still flowers on it for Christ's sake. And I got this bin off by itself. I'm gonna start checking some cables. I'm gonna go shoot this guy with my uh, Vincent's management set up here and I'll come back. All right, so we got a pretty good looking bin right now. Uh, yes, right, I forgot. This bin's not full. You can see the top couple are exposed to air. They're pretty close to ambient temperature, which is minus five. I like to see temperatures under 20 degrees. I really like to see them below 15, but this bin doesn't have air on it, so there's nothing we could do. So, yeah, I'm pretty happy with that bin. And that last sensor, I know, is really close to the side of the bin because I put, I had to put a 24 foot cable in a 20 foot bin. So I kind of had to zig and zag and the bottoms, well, you get the point. All right, now we're at the farm. And all of the grain bins here have temperature cables, every one of them. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine way back there all of those have temperature cables and none of them are tethered together all right those two bins no cables but I see lots of snow on them so that's good they're small bins they sh there's like unless we're putting really tough canola in like 13 percent like yeah, there's no reason for that stuff to heat it was I'm trying to remember exactly but i want to say it was like seven eight percent going in there maybe 20 degrees they should be fine they look like they're fine this guy does have a cable and cables warmer than I expected. She got pretty squirrely out there all of a sudden. So yeah, back to this, uh, this bin. Where's my heat map? There. Whoa. So that bin 
It's got some warmish stuff kind of throughout. I can't recall. Like, I, I really should have been taking this when it went in the bin. I just got busy, didn't think of it, yada, 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 excuse, excuse, excuse. But 30 is nothing to worry about yet, it's something to watch. It actually ain't that bad out here when you're out of the wind and, you know, the sun's trying to come out and everything, but out oh, there sucks. So we're going to go check some bins here. This one, those two are mine. They're all canola. That one's dad's wheat. The woodpeckers beat up that cable. I've got, not the cable itself, but the drop cable. Or daisy, I can't remember what they call it. But, so I'm gonna have to climb that one and reinstall, or install an, a fresh cable. But, we'll check those three. That's not good. It's only one spot, which is interesting. But, uh, yeah, that's not good. So, that 46, obviously, not good. Um, I tried updating that and it wouldn't change. But, yeah, so this bin is has one hot spot. I'm not terribly concerned, that, like, if it's just one. But I am, it's on, I shouldn't say that. I am concerned that it's hot. But... It's just one, so it's not like the end of the world. I've got room to deal with it, so that's what we're going to do. Um, I've got the Volvo grain truck down here, so I'll probably plug it in. And uh, it might start later this afternoon with a bit of heat. And then I'll... Uh, luckily, these bins, they start like... Uh, once you get grain moving, they start pulling off the top first. So I'll probably pull two loads out with the grain truck. I don't, I don't even think I really need. I'll just piddle around and go back and forth. If I just, I can probably move the auger from this bin to that bin and just dump through the, the truck auger, the little guy. I'm sure that's about that's bigger than what we used to fill these things with. So this guy won't build pressure all of a sudden. Not all of a sudden. First time we've used it in a week. Worked fine last week when it was like 20 degrees. Now that it hit minus 20, you know, it's gotta be difficult. Somebody's not wanting to cooperate. I'm pretty sure it's this guy. And uh, it's making life really, really, really difficult right now. As it stands right now, the Volvo won't build pressure. Dad thinks he had it happen last year. He's like, I can't remember exactly where I poured the methanol to it. I put methanol in all three lines there. I couldn't get the big one off. Still might try that, but uh, oh yeah, like literally it was gonna be, hey, let's pull 600, 650 bushels out of there, which is most of a load on that thing, and let's put it in a bin over there. We'll use this auger for both. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Now the kicker is that Dad's got wheat on his truck right now. The semi's open, but I know as soon as I put a load on that semi, they're gonna call. Oh, can you can you hold your drum or your pea target hit or your wheat target hit or blah blah blah? And uh, yeah, so um, yeah. We don't have my. I sent my uncle's Kubota to Redverse. Uh, the front axles were leaking, and it needs some air conditioning. Not that it needs air conditioning this time of year, but hell, if we're going to take it to the dealership, we may as well fix everything at once. 
Um, so we don't have an auger to run the 13 inch uh, up there with the swing. So, sorry, we don't have a tractor down here to run that auger. It's just the other two tractors are up at dad's. There's actually three of them. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to try and get that big line off. This should have been an hour and a half job. Take a, a load into the grain truck from this bin to get the hot spot out. Move it to the other bin where it'll have lots of, it's nice and cold in there. We'll get blended off as we move it. One that way. I uh, started out, I had to boost this guy. And then I had to, sorry, not boost. I did. It was turning over. I had some linkages froze up because of the rain, so I had to de-ice that. That's on the, the auger. Then I cranked it over so much I needed to boost it. So I had to do that. And then I had the issue with the old tandem not building there. Still have that issue. So now we're we're doing it the hard way. Like I said, we don't have a tractor down here right now. I just dropped my glove in the freaking snow. So I'm going to take a load out. And I'm thinking I should be able to stuff this hopper underneath. We'll try. If I want to move this, go take a look, see if it's peaked up at all. Like, um, if I had to guess, it's maybe like 15 degrees, but it's, it's melting a little bit of ice around here. Well, this ain't gonna work. Uh, you can see I've gotten that auger. Like, I went to the point where I was just sneaking past the hopper by like that much. That's as far as I'm able to get in. Like I had the auger touching that A brace up there, touching the bin over the top. And I'm about halfway from where I need to be. Won't be able to move in between. Um, I think we're just gonna have to haul 4650 or something down here tomorrow. I'll just leave the load on for tonight. Yeah, so you can see pretty skinny there. Up and over. Whoa. And that is touching the roof. So, change of plans. 